Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. My name is Onisha and today we're going to talk about stretching. I have five stretches that I've picked out for everyone. They're not super complicated. I'm going to show you how to do them in correct alignment so you can get the most out of the stretch. I find that a lot of people don't like to stretch with their fitness program or their activity or if they are stretching that they're just not holding their stretches long enough or incorrectly in the position. So I'm going to show you how to do them correctly so you get the most out of the stretch and also too that you see results a little bit quicker. Okay so you're going to place your feet at a wall and make sure that they're in parallel not rolling out that's not good you want to really push your entire foot against the wall holding your stomach and folding from your hips create a long line from your tailbone to the top of the head shoulders down and just taking your time here you don't want to force something that doesn't feel natural bring your arms you can put them along the mirror or the wall and try to feel the stretch through the crown of the head. So it's like you're reaching through the top of the head, increasing the length of your spine. Now you should feel this stretch in your hamstrings all the way from the sit bones. If you're really tight, your knees might bend. Um, for my tight hamstring people, you could bring your feet a little bit wider. And hold that stretch for about one minute. Okay, so you're gonna fold your mat to protect your knees. Um, if you don't need to do this, it's okay. This one's a bit tricky, so make sure you're looking at the placement. Don't put any weight on your knee. You wanna put it on the inside of your thigh, and you, that way you can stretch better and not be in pain. You're gonna bring your legs out to about a 90 degree angle, and if you notice, I'm bringing my stomach in. Pull your tummy muscles in, abdominals in. And your pelvis is in line with the knees. So notice it's a nice 90 degree angle. I can't emphasize that enough. And from here, I'm really trying to push down. I'm using my glutes to push the inner thighs forward towards the ground. A lot of us don't recognize, but our hips get really tight from sitting at a desk. Now you also, like I like to use weights, so I put I think these are 2.5 pounds, so 5 pounds total. It might be 10 pounds, but we're good, whatever you can handle. You put them on the lower back. Again, suck in the belly, and you'll see that the inner thighs slowly release towards the floor. If you get comfortable, you can go down onto your stomach, but notice I'm really not trying to let my hips go forward. Now this one you can hold from one to two minutes, but sometimes I, if I'm really tight, I'll go up to three to five minutes. It just depends on how tight and how long you can hold the stretch. And just try to stay there and not fidget around. And that's it, come out safely. All right, so for this next one, make sure your elbows are together. I'm showing the correct position before I go down. Elbows not apart, not good for your shoulder joints, so keep your elbows kind of squeezing together for the next stretch. Okay, so next we have an upper back stretch. If you have an injury, again, please be careful. You wanna make sure that your hip joint or over your knee joint. Then, oh yes, don't have your hips forward of your knees or you're just gonna get out of alignment. You're not gonna feel the stretch as well. So I'm going down. Now some of you might be a little bit higher or you're more on your elbows, so just put more cushioning there if you need to. And you just let the chest relax. I'm actively pushing my forearms and my palms together. And this is definite stretch in your upper back, your neck, your cervical spine, and also in your shoulder joint. So you're attacking a lot of areas. For shoulder stretches, I would do maybe 30 seconds. You don't have to go as long, but go longer than what I showed. Okay, so you're gonna wanna fold over your mat, especially my friends who are sensitive. We're gonna bring the shin up to the wall, all the way flush to the wall. So again, if you have sensitive knees, put an extra towel, fold over your yoga mat more than once if it's thin. Then you're gonna take one leg at a time up onto the wall Make sure it's 
the toes are pointing up to the ceiling and step one leg forward. From here, again, suck in your belly. Oh, don't bring your butt to your heel. You wanna have separation between your behind and your foot. Now, if you can bring your hands to your knee, here's some alternate positions with your arms. You can bring your arms up, which increases the stretch. Or you can bring your hands to your back. I'm, I'm slightly pushing here, so if you want more of a stretch, you push on the back of your hips. Now this is just for some of you who are a bit more flexible. Bring your left leg forward, you can split. But notice I'm not letting the back leg turn out. I'm really trying to keep it in parallel. And this one you wanna hold about two minutes, one minute to two minutes, depending on where you are, your stamina and push your hip, opening up the hip flexors all the way down towards the floor. And I'm really pulling in the waist. You're lifting up. I'm not trying to let the lower back arch. So that's about it. Carefully come out of it. And you'll feel your hips way more open. So this last one, I wanted to get your back uh, but not your traditional back bend. I think everybody knows how to do a back bend or a bridge. If you don't, we can do another stretch later. But you're gonna bring your legs together, you're lying prone or you're lying on your tummy. Your hands are behind your head, all 10 fingers interlaced behind the head and keep those elbows lifted. This is gonna target those back extensors. So I'm pushing my hips in the floor and I'm lifting the legs and they are together and straight as possible off the floor. And you wanna do this about five times for about 10 seconds. Your goal is not to lift up super high. It's just to squeeze the legs, create a nice long line and strengthen the back muscles. You would think that by strengthening the back muscles that you would be less flexible because you'd have more muscle there, but that's actually not true. When we strengthen the back muscles, it helps us sit up taller, better posture, and we create more flexibility in the spine. So take your time, breathe through your nose, whatever feels comfortable, just try not to hold your breath. You also feel the glute muscles really engaging here. If your lower back is hurting or you have an injury, you can go a lot lower than what I'm showing. But again, it's not about how high you're going. And then the last one, you can straighten your, separate your legs, excuse me, and then bring your chest nice and high, and then relax down. And then when you're done, take your hands by your sides. You all know how to do a child's pose, but always stretch your back out after back extension. Push your hips into your heels, and just relax. Stretch the spine the opposite way. And that's it. So, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you're able to try some of these, if not all of the stretches. Um, let me know how they feel. Um, maybe you have your own favorite stretch. Let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe, and thanks for tuning in to OE Power. Peace. Hi everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, and check out my last review on Yoga Shmoga clothing.